retrieved there. An artifact capable of generating a field that renders objects within it weightless. Research may allow us to create our own anti-gravity technology. I wonder if that has anything to do with airplanes. I have no way of knowing. Well, I have plenty of ways of knowing, I'm just not indulging in them. Ah! How convenient, back at Montenegro, we have four new soldiers. Let's get them decked out. Um, maybe once everybody else is back. There we go. I always like to unassign people between missions, except for the tank. The only time I won't use the tank is in a base mission, because that just seems wrong. Okay, who joined in? Because they're about to be decked up. Um, they'll all be riflemen, because that's how they start out. Private Edry, Private Kaladin, Private Pet Boy, Private Raymond. Alright. Can't remember who's who, so let's check. Edry. Edry signed up to be a ballistic rifle user. Of course, ballistics are way in days gone by. So here's a proper rifle. Get rid of all this junk and fill you up with what you asked for. Edry wishes to have ammo, smoke bomb, and rockets. And in his backpack, he wants additional ammo, a med kit, and a stun baton. Yeah, I think it's time to stop listening to what people want. You're getting nice armor. You're getting backup ammo, more backup ammo. Medipack and grenades. Maybe C4. It's not that heavy, so you can have it. Electroshock grenade, gas, gas, gas grenade, and more gas, gas, gas grenade. That weak strength precludes armor. More privates. Hmm, interesting. He specified on Discord he wants to carry a rocket launcher since it's not that heavy, but you didn't have it on the form. That's a real shame for him. Hmm. It really isn't that heavy. There you go. Righto, what was Pet Boy after? And where is Pet Boy on my list? Ah, here we go. Pet Boy wants pistol and shield, which now that we have plasma pistols is a great idea. Not to mention the awesome shields we now have. Alright, oh, I should really change your role to shield. There we go. Good armor, and Jings, you're already massively overweight because you give yourself bare minimum strength. Looks like you don't deserve good armor. Pet Boy wants just ammo. Well, that can be... That can be given. Feels weird not to give um, a shield person heaviest armor, but if they're too weak for it, they ain't getting it. Hello, shield with no armor, and soon to be goodbye, says Deadly Tower, who might be speaking from experience, but they sit back with a sniper rifle. Kaladin? Kaladin wants to have grenades and a shield with a stun baton. That makes you out. Whoa, I think we changed the person here. Kaladin. Uh, Big Bang. I didn't give it any equipment. Maybe I should. Shield. Maybe Electroshock Grenade should be the default there. I want you to have good armor. Maybe not the best armor, though, because then you can't carry loads of, she uh, loads of grenades. Uh, and yeah, they want Stun Baton and loads of grenades. Stun Baton's easy enough to supply. As are loads of grenades. I love gas, gas, gas. I also quite like suppression. And maybe some extra electro grenades. There we go. Jake, could you clarify that Microsoft spilling the beans forced Paradox hands with timing from the trailer announcement? What in the world makes you think I'm in a position to clarify official stances for Paradox? I don't work there. And if I did work there, why the hell would I do it on my private stream? Good God. Okay, uh, Private Raymond was wanting a what exactly? 
A ballistic rifle! Ah, always welcoming of new rifle users around here. Which one's the rifle? That looks like a rifle to me. Kind of. Um, smoke, flash, flash, stun baton. There's no room for all of that. There's not room for much. And they also want C4 and additional ammo. Well, I'll certainly do you the ammo, but I like my rifle people to have good armor. So, uh, I honestly think that's all you're getting until you get more swole. If people want lots of equipment, don't chime in with 35 strength. Jeng's brought in a bunch of weaklings here, except for Edry. At least edry has been lifting some weights. Okay. Our position looks alright, at least until the next attack comes. Scientists hard at work. Workshop hard at work. Good. Right, so straight away they're coming in with two. Now, fortunately, I believe... Oh, I thought I had two Corsairs in Montenegro. I don't. I only have one. Can one Corsair defeat all of these? Probably not. You're another large one, right. Foxtrot, two Corsairs, take it down. And we'll see what else spawns. Oh, jinx, they're going ham on us over here. Medium, get intercepting. Hold on, that's within prome? Yeah, it is within prome. I'll get dealing with it anyway. We're maxed out Northern Africa. Can't help but feel that we'll soon be maxed on Soviet Union. South America South America's going down rather than up, which is a dang shame. They're bringing in the big guns now, just when I thought we started to have an advantage. Oh, Crivens, I really need to improve my relations with Australasia. It's just a small one. Send in. Ah, crumbs. Don't have spare Corsair. That's just medium. Take out the large one first. South Africa is just screwed, but that's fine. No problem with that. Okay. Return to base and send those Corsairs down to Australasia. I really need to improve my standing with them. Alright, well at least we got you dealt with to hopefully improve our standing with South America. Predicted change went down to nil. Montenegro should send out some stuff to deal with you, because you seem fairly close by there. Crash site might be large, but we already covered some nice stuff from a large one, so I'm just going to strike it into dust for now. What size are you again? You're just small. Ah, but they need to fuel up and rearm, so that's a little out of the question. Here, strike it and grab the money. Keep everybody happy, especially me. Oh, they seem keen to intercept you. Deal with them before they deal with you. <sighs> oh no! Everything died. Uh-oh, Europe is in a shambles right now. That's what I get for not having all my... Hang on, you're there. Ah, right. You were recovered? Hold on, what's going on there? Right, three of them have no health. I need to consider making myself a new plane over there. Just when I thought I was doing fine. Oh well, need a new Corsair interceptor then. Commence the project. And once we're done with the carbine, we're going to make that rather than the rifle. Yeah, they do take a while to recover, unfortunately. At least we get some dosh out of this. Could we please deal with this? It's gonna have to do. Man, Montenegro is not in a good position to deal with anything now. Those, uh... Man, those are some fast UFOs. I don't think Europe will enjoy this. Middle East is already not enjoying it.
All right, take that out, get back to base, hopefully make Australasia like us a bit more. Nuke that crash site into oblivion. This is a medium one. Need my... Uh... Well, no, two Proman Foxtrots and a Corsair should be able to deal with that. All right, here's the thing we just dealt with. A cruiser is a large alien capital ship, versatile. Hmm, general purpose warship. Crewed by more extraterrestrials than a landing ship. Well, our one wasn't very full of people. Hmm. The protective armor plating has uneven distribution. Fair enough. Expect the cruiser to take quite a beating before it finally crashes. Alright, but what about that sweet tech we no doubt got out of it? Ah, oh, these UFOs are going to be doing bad things to me. I wonder if I could take you on with the Florida Man Abode Corsairs once they refuel. Because you're causing me some grief. Hopefully they still have some operational distance on you. Come to Papa. Much better. Hopefully that made somebody a bit happier. As for you, you're large and I'm unable to take you down with what I have right now. You're just medium. But I need you to come a bit closer to Prome. Oh, I like where you're going. Florida Man's abode could deal with you if these were a bit more rearmed and such. Still refueling though. This is closer, but I really need to improve my standing with South America. Get to it. One Corsair can take the three fighters. Really? Because we had one Corsair and two Foxtrots get destroyed by three fighters. You know, the ones that just got shot down here. Oi, get back. Alright, with that done, everything on a new Corsair Interceptor. We're clearly short on him. Uh-oh, that's way too far away. If we fight it here, we might not be able to uh, take it on over land, but do try, please. Just. Alright, return to base and take the dosh. That's good though. South America has a lot better standing with me after that. North America probably not impressed with me leaving this one. Mm, dang, these guys are out of commission for how long? 55 hours. And these events in North America are giving us a bad time. Oh, we had one more new arrival. Who was that? I think it was Private B. Hold, right? Yes. P. Uh, B. Hold with pistol and shield. Alright, let's get them tooled up then. If that's the case. Oh, no, no, no not you. Behold, your new role is shield, but you don't get that kind of pistol. You get a good pistol. Forget all these things. You get that. Strength, again, is pitiful. Um, smoke flash C4 med kit. Uh, if you want to have anything re uh, resembling armor, you can't have a lot of that. I might just give them crappy armor. If I give them too good armor, then what are they going to do? Survive? Don't need weaklings surviving. You get that, and I suppose... What did you want? Well, you can't have all of that. Have an Electra Stun Grenade if you really want to grenade. Jinx. Your TU is pathetic as well. All you have is health and accuracy. Well, too bad. Really want to deal with this thing, but... All I have is a big Foxtrot. And that won't be enough for a medium. Florida Man's abode could deal with it if I didn't just have them all run around. Yeah, we've got a lot of rearming and refueling to do. There we go, they've escaped to, uh, to outer space. Almost done with these. Yeah, I still have this Charlie. I'm actually considering ditching it. 
I can buy a Charlie. Although it takes a while to arrive. I recall overburdening your soldiers as a way to train strength. Why is he avoiding it? It just seems a bit gamey to me. All the ways of training up your soldiers seem awfully gamey. I'd rather just have them survive and level up. Laboratory and plasma battery all done. Swell. Then you are getting your scientists. As many as we can, please. Hire them all. Hopefully they don't die out there. And then we'll have you working on stuff. You work in unison with the other... Uh, other labs, so that's okay. What was finished? A plasma? Oh yes, um, the plasma defense is right there. Your ones will be done soon enough. Unless you like cleaning up all the crash UFOs, ditch the Charlie. Yeah, he does just cost me 50 grand maintenance, so probably a good idea. Farewell, Charlie. Decommissioning. Also frees up some space for more ships. But I want the next step up. I need the thing that beats the Foxtrot, whatever that is. Okay, here they come. Safe in the knowledge I can't react. So that's not going to make Northern Africa very happy. Aha! This could make me happy, though. Intercept those with our Corsairs, please. A large one. Might have to wait a bit on that. A small one. Alright, intercept that one with Corsairs, please. They're really stepping up their game. Whilst I am busy not upping my game. Alright, that big one's real close by. Fuel and ammo aren't high for you, but this should be enough to take it down. Because you're really close by. Good job. Return to base and nuke those buggers into dust. Overland, please. Oh man, you could have had that. These are good. These are really helping me boost relations with my benefactors. Or is it beneficiary uh, beneficiaries? Come on, make, you down, make your way down to Australasia so I can feel better about destroying you. Abductions. I mean, who's even going out to the sea knowing that all this is going on? On you go, Florida man's abode. Make me uh, look like a big man in front of the Americas. Still refueling. Ah, good. Corsair Interceptor's done here. We should be better defended on all fronts now, which means you can get going with that plasma rifle that I've been wanting. Tail them until they're over land, please. And then return to base. I'm sure the US loves you for not shooting them down over the sea and instead waiting for them to be over land so they can crash into someone. I think the USA unironically like that a lot. Take it down. Ah, oh, figures they're running away. Mm. Go there just in case they come back. Intercept. Best of luck. Just take it down while you can and return to base. I'm sure that made somebody happier, right? Australasia's relations are bad, but they won't be pulling out of funding me just yet. We're improving them by about 50% now. Scientists aren't here yet. Get on it, lads. What do I need to research to get myself the next uh, evolution of the Foxtrot? Because the Foxtrot just doesn't cut the mustard, in my opinion. Plasma batteries done at Florida Man's abode. Good. Upkeep is still really high, but we're all right. Anti-grav. All right, so we do need to work on that anti-gravity. We'll get it done. We're just waiting on some scientists, of course. Aha. Well, there we go. 
chrome, your job then is that anti-gravity reactor. I don't think I want all 15 of you in there though, but 10 should be fine. And let's figure out that reactor. Already we're halfway through the month and still almost a million dollars, Jake. You really ought to spend some more. thing is, I don't know what the best thing to spend it on would be. I mean, a second laboratory could make uh, this place far more effective, but scientists are so expensive. Besides, I could save it for if we lose a lot, I need to quickly build up a lot more. You don't need anti-gravity, only alien reactor and ar alien armor plating. There we go. Let's just blame the person that said anti-grav. It was Deadly Tower. Okay, so far so okay. How are our uh, airplanes doing? Man, if those things were lost for good, that would be bad, but no, they're back. In fact, they're all fully repaired as well. Ooh, snazzy. Having covered our scientific exploits and unlocking the secrets of the alien base in my last report... Hold on, there's a report got intercepted, didn't it? This covers the resulting improvements of our own facilities. The greatest improvement have been in our laboratories. Both structures now allow scientists and engineers to work almost 50% more efficiently. Our new biological computers and instruments mean that my team are no longer entirely reliant on our own ample brain power and have been able to fully automate several formerly time-consuming tasks, giving us more time to think. I've also had our upgraded laboratory soundproofed, allowing brilliant minds among us to work without being disturbed by the less brilliant. There have also been a number of less obvious improvements, e.g. refitting of base kitchens with laser-blasted ovens capable of cooking food in mere seconds, or the upgraded recreational areas with holographic entertainment consoles. Both of these have proven immensely popular, but unfortunately replacement of our showers and living quarters with vastly superior alien gel sacks proved less popular. The events culminating in an incident with some of your soldiers leading to the upgrade being postponed for now. Hope you will discipline your men. Finally, we have developed an internal network that links all of our systems together. Whether the same facility or not, this morning we were able to transmit a mildly amusing image of a cat halfway across the world, suggesting it will be an excellent tool for sharing classified information within our organization. I named this impressive creation the Internetwork. I'd be very surprised if it did not catch on. This guy's so full of himself. But does that mean that formerly the research was not linked together? Hmm. Oh, this looks snazzy. This looks real snazzy. He's still got that bloomin' scowl, though. Alright. I'm not going to build more of these uh, hangers until we actually know we're going to need them. Because the hangers don't take that long to make, right? Was it 10 days? 5 days, even. It takes half of that just to build one. So since they cost upkeep, I'm not going to build them unless I know I need them. Uh, so if that's research. Oh, boy. Man, I need to I need to get the art uh, the art captures for this game. That's cool. This guy doesn't seem much happier. That's an even more impressive looking arm for you. Although the <laughs> they don't this doesn't seem very comforting. I like their bedside tablet though. This is much and such the same, this is much and such the same. Is the storage background? Yeah, this is definitely upgrade, uh, updated. Used to be a lot more brown, now it's a lot more silvery. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. That means we've got a bunch of scientists to spend on something else. I'm not so concerned about the jumpsuit. Precision Plasma? I know Dark Young would want that. Let's find out more about the Androns. I want to know more about them. So all ten got chucked onto there, right? Yeah. And you two are linking together. Groovy. The upkeep on that is 25 grand. But I can't deny I'm kind of tempted by... Oh, it's now called the Nanotech Workshop. Yeah, that's cool. And Quantum Laboratory. 
Oh. Jumpsuit is phenomenal for gaining high ground for snipers, says Velislazar. Well, good for them. Everybody else has to trek through the mud and dirt. They will too. Ah, right. Plasma rifle is done, so we can make more things. Don't know how much wolf battle armor I have. This tells me, right? Seven, eight, nine. I have nine. I'm surely never going to use all nine, so I'm not going to bother making more until somebody dies by Reaper. Um, could finally have a scimitar, but the upkeep is something to consider. More plasma weapons. Yeah, I think Bunny wants the plasma caster. Didn't I suspend making my plasma rifle, though? No, we have plasma rifle. A precision plasma and a plasma caster. New tank, more armor. Yeah, but if more armor is the thing, why not just wait until the other one dies before making a new one? Armor is... Uh, if armor is the main upgrade, then screw it. Wait until the other one blows up. Okay, I think we all want to see what the plasma caster is capable of. So we'll have one. All right. Ready and willing. A large one, large one to be intercepted. Large one again, uh, that would help me with uh, um, Australasia. Whoa now, what the heck? Medium with two smalls. Foxtrot and Corsairs, please. Damn, you're so close. I want to destroy you, but needs must. Small. And then Corsair takes you down. Man, they got plenty out there. Oh, jeez, you're taking me on a rigmarole around here. Okay, I can't just airstrike the Bonnie Highlands of Scotland. I'm going to have to go in for that. Brazil, on the other hand. Crunch. And you're taking me for a joke here. Um, tail it until it's over land, please. And then return to base. That was expensive on Oceania. Uh, Australasia, rather. Off you guys trot. Look at it go. Criffins, it's off the map. Just destroy it and get back. Can this one be taken on yet? It's a big one, sire. You're low on fuel, too. Alright, daylight's fast approaching. Who's going to save the highlands? Right, well, first and foremost, I always unassign people. Uh, young, you and me are both going in, although I can't help but feel the risk is somewhat heavily weighted in one person's direction. Um, we don't have that new gun for you yet, do we? No, Bubblegum's plasma caster is not ready yet, so let's not let Bubblegum on. We'll let John back in there. Uh, oh, right, before we consider that, we should have all the privates in and leveling up some way, somehow. Don't know or care what they're doing. They're all getting in. Shield, rifle, big bang. Shield, rifle means I'm not bringing in another big bang. Let's have Corporal Mitchell on the assault. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight already. Not a lot of um, rocket propelled explosions, but at least Kaladin can pull off two pins and run in like that headless guy out of Serious Sam, was it? Whatever that game that I couldn't stand was. Looking all right. Now let's make sure everyone's suited and booted. I have to give Dark Young good armor or else he'll die and blame me. I'm taking this new plasma rifle for a spin. Feels good being swole. Mitral, your assault. That means well done. You get the good, uh, the good new carbine. Edry. You're a rifleman. There's your laser rifle and your rocket launcher. 
Pep Boy gets the shield, but no good armor because they're pathetically weak. Same with Kaladin the Big Bang. Raymond the Rifleman's ready, although already severely crippled. And behold, another shield with crappy armor. Feel bad for all this crappy armor we're bringing in, but what else can I really do? Just got here, and I am happy with that loadout, says Edry. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Big Bang is all grenaded up, so we should be okay. Uh, I don't have any of these new electroshock grenades. Since I never use smoke bombs, I think I'll take an electro grenade. And since I seldom reload once, let alone twice, let's keep another electro grenade handy. I remember the days when Dark Young carried first aid. I missed those days already. Big Bang should carry extras that they leave behind in the uh, in the drop ship. So that's extra plasma for us. And extra laser batteries for us. That should be fine. Okay, with that, let us deploy and save the Highlands. On you go, Shrike Force. Can we please deal with this UFO? The answer is no. No, we cannot. A few extra rockets? Nah. If you wanted a rocket launcher, not rockets. Okay, take it down, will you? What even is it? It's a large one. All right, we'll need large rockets then. Okay, engage. Extra med kit? You're only bringing one. That one's all we need. If anyone gets that injured, I'm sure a med kit's not going to make the difference. I wonder if this is like the Highlands I know and love. Love's a bit of an exaggeration. I love it for two months a year. Otherwise, it's a grim existence. Okay, this is not the Highlands I know. What is with uh, this level of advanced technology? Paving? Uh, we appear to be looking the wrong way, sire. Regardless, I'm going to poke my nose out with you. That seems to be edge of the map territory right there. It's a tall building. And I don't like how it gives them vision over us, so I think we're going to have... Not single mother, take this side, and immediately not spot an alien, just stop, because I didn't tell him to go very far. What do you see? Well, nothing too exciting. Where's our uh, grenader there? Just drop this stuff, and if anybody knows how to make this a uh, one-click action, I'd love that, because so far I've not found a way to make it so... Still a bit over encumbered, but that'll do you just fine. Why do I feel like we're significantly low on numbers? Ah, because they're hidden here. Thought I'd managed to not take the right amount of people again. carbine, right? Must be. It has 12 shots. No, no, it's not. That's not how things work. That's an actual rifle. Honest to God, a rifle. Come on, Dark Young. Use your incredible powers of never getting a reaction shot. Suppose it wouldn't hurt to have some eyes out the back here. Private Raymond, earn your promotion by going out there. Well, as a civvy, things probably won't earn, uh, won't go too well for them. Hmm. Let's keep our eyes out here in case something smashes its way through. 
hold on, I'm getting too complacent here. There could be Reapers. We don't know if there is or is not. Can't be the north of Scotland. No average speed cameras. Amen to that. Okay, I know what this civvy is saying. He's saying, please, Major Jake, I haven't slept in weeks. Out of the way, Private Raymond. Let me show you how we secure the civvies. There we go. The day is saved. There, that civvy is kept safe. And we can continue on our merry way. First of all, by blowing up the wall. And making sure that there are no alien scum around here. Good. That's not the last wall I'm ever going to blow up. Going to get myself over here. And pointing myself in this direction. So we have good, uh, good view around here. Jake, this is Scotland, not Ireland. Leave the civvies alone. Listen, he's far less danger to us and everyone out there if he's asleep. I see very little reason to rush in here. Let's wait and see. For all we know, there are Reapers. Can the tank reload? No, it has 12 shots, but I, n I have never yet gotten through all 12 shots, and I've tried. All right, let us... Man, I wish I could tell if there, were, if there was gas there or not. Could be, could not be. Either way, I would quite like to open this up. With a high explosive, of course. Right, well, if nothing can pop out here, except potentially through that, let's just plow on through with you. Let's get better vision on what's out there. Huh. Pretty dead empty out there. That being the case, behold. Check what's in here. Smash that window so that somebody with a bit more mobility, not social mobility, can get in there. Like Edry with his not carbine. Or we have no no, I brought I got this assault guy here, Raymond. Alright, Raymond. Be a hero. Check the building. It's awfully smoky, I agree, but that's okay. This is what uh, privates were born to do. I'm no use that far back. Let's go somewhere that I can actually reaction fire from. Still good? No, no we're not. Something's out there. And it's taking pot shots at our tank. Find out what it is. Oh, there it is. And, uh, whilst it is tempting to eliminate the threat, didn't I make a better gun for you, Dark Young? I feel like I did. Mitchell's got an alright gun. Yeah, this could be Reapers, so let's not get too, uh, malcontent. No plasma sniper yet. Okay. Yeah, lizards do mean possible Reapers, but I think we'd have heard them by now. Um, it's tempting just to kill you with that, but if I get my people to get the kills, then all the better, right? He's only a little armored. It's a small ship, Jake. There can't be reapers. Is that how it works? Well, let's run Dark Young into his death on that assumption. One shot, one kill? I agree, it's unlikely, isn't it? Maybe we should take a pot shot for nothing? Or have somebody else rush in and uh, take a pot shot? Don't like sitting here being uh, food for whatever goes down there, but... 
like so, and that should give you ample cover. I too shall enjoy some ample cover, and I'll soften him up for uh, Dark Young to make the kill. Some nice like that. Oh, sorry, Dark Young. I was accidentally better than you. Let's carry on. Raymond, anything in there? Safe as houses, and there's our uh, there's our ship. There's our ship. Not so keen on crushing all the defense here. Let's just keep our eyes out there. It's great for scouting. This map feels really tiny, which is nice for me. Big maps can often be very stressful. This door's open. What's been prowling around here? Well, just sending in Raymond alone. He probably doesn't like that, but too bad. Alright, get over there where there's something resembling cover. And I'm sure Dark Young, not appreciating what I did for him, wants another shot at something else. Alright, oh, Edry, I missed you because I can't see past all this. Uh, Edry is no doubt keen to prove himself. Maybe he should go and back up the other private. Don't take a nap on the job. Mitchell's got a real nice gun. Ah, yes, the carbine. Get over here with that. And Kaladin. Honestly, not so sure. How much of a leg can you make over here? With these newfangled shields, I feel borderline invincible. Come on, there's only been one thing to kill, unless we've accidentally killed a lot of things. Wouldn't put it past me, but... Uh... Rifle, huh? That puts us at two rifles here. Again, we don't know if there's reapers, so running in so gung-ho might not be the best of options. Let's scout with something that cannot be one-shot reapered anymore. Glad they fixed that. And they did actually fix it, which is rather nice. Ah, jeez, there's a bit too much out here. Not liking it very much. Not to mention whatever's back here. Oh, well, that's what the privates are for. And yes, I don't believe in concentration of force. I don't like it. No fun. Hmm. I think Dark Young is fine being back here. He's got a good enough view of all of this and all of this from there. Which just means we got to recklessly charge in. We're going to find out what's back here if we don't try it out. Ah, right, no, that, that blocks you. What if you were here? A lot of blockage going on, but it's not the end of the world. If something pops out from the side, you're still good. Mitchell, get behind them. Huh, bit of a dead zone up here. 
Even the aliens couldn't find anything to do in, uh, in Mori. I think we're a bit beyond Mori here. But Mori is my stomping ground. James, what a sorry display. This is pathetic. down here then. How did you escape, lol? Well, I went to Sweden, if that's what you're asking. Might not at all be what you're asking, but it's what I interpreted. Door is open there. Door is very open there. They could pop out and shoot me. I wouldn't like that. And sorry, I'm sure Major Young will keep me covered. Or I could have Young over here so that he can provide better cover down here. And then again, he himself wouldn't be very covered at all. Like I'll have you over here in that case. A Reaper stepped out in the street, was kicked to the ground and set on fire by the locals. Yeah, I was unable to fire, uh, find any food around there. Not even a Reaper could impregnate a Scott. I gotta say, that terrorist story about Scotland's most quintessential Glasgow thing you could imagine. Terrorist arrives in Glasgow, gets beaten up. And the thing was, it really, really brought forth a lot of pride in our, in ourselves. Oh boy, right, something's out there and it's taking pot shots at... Hmm. Something's going on in there, but it's hard for us to see exactly what. Bare minimum took a bit of a banging. Aha, there you are. Unfortunately for you... Well... A little out of range for us. Might not have to be. I want your equipment, but it's not worth losing uh, bare minimum for. And there's something going on inside here. What's that, Caladrin? You really want to prove yourself by going and finding out what exactly? That's the kind of go-getter attitude we really admire within the Xenonauts. Huh. It's not on this floor. So it might well be below us here. Right, well, we can find out exactly what's going on with a big enough shot here. We can actually make two such shots. There's the first. And you know what? What if you die if I bring down this whole build? Ah, whatever. I doubt I'll bring down the whole building. And if I do, I'm just killing a private. Practically doing them a service. All right, what's what's the situation? Private pet boy, find out what the situation is. Mitchell's a corporal, still fairly disposable, but not not as such that I want to just throw them away. 
regard. Let's get a little closer. Maybe have Pet Boy get there and you get here. Can you collapse buildings? Yes. We've done so already. We took down a building on top of a Reaper, I believe. Alright, well, with that done, let's keep our eyes on the prize. Hmm. Hello, sir. Dark Young. Dark Young does not have positive on that, neither do I. In that case, just get down. I'll get over here. Uh, maybe a little closer, maybe over here. There's nothing out there, right? Yeah, good enough. Dark Young, you get behind the car. Is that good enough for a shot? <laughs> if we want to shoot our own kind, yes, yes it is. Um, get over there then, crouch down and keep your eyes peeled. And then there are you two. Take cover behind that giant exploding canister. If the situation allows. Well, I reckon we got the wrong floor. Because it sure sounds like somebody died in there. Huh. Well, there's our answer. That's one of our answers. It's alright, I got a big shield. And Corporal Mitchell has got big something else. Otherwise, this all seems fairly clean and clear and under control. Regardless, though, I think I'm going to blitz on in with you. Just to be absolutely sure on that. Right, they ran away, as I would expect. No match for the Xenonauts. Oh, well, hello. You got this. Whoa, whoa, maybe you don't. Keep it together, man. Let Edry show you how it's done. You weren't meant to actually pull that shot off, but good job. Got to train up the new recruits, you know. Make our own death trap for them. Hey, young, come on. Safe over here, don't you worry, girly. Scout with the uh, scout with the snipers at every opportunity. <laughs> Have this pathetic tree as cover. Oh right, that guy's still there. He could shoot you solidly in the back. In fact, he could run out here and shoot you. I'm hoping that he gets aggroed by those guys, but there's no guarantee on that one. And you're on the wrong floor, so what you should do is get out here and uh, provide aggro in case it does come out. Hello. That's that shield at work. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oof. Still a few of them in there. That shield tanked not a lot of damage, so it gives Mitral an opportunity to rapid fire? This thing doesn't do rapid fire? No, it only does rapid fire. No, it's a carbine. I don't know how I have such problems telling these weapons apart, but I do. Since they took their shots, we have little uh, little reason to fear, so let's just run on in, get as close as possible. Wait, that is blocked for you? What if you were here? That's more like it. Let's 
sweep up the area. Bare minimum. <laughs> Bare minimum and single mother both have mum in their name. Am I amused? Yes, I am. Alright, might as well get on in. Might as well get on in. A little hesitant of throwing myself in there for some odd reason. A little hesitant to throw Dark Young on in as well. Hell, the privates should learn this the way we learned it back in uh, Breaching 101. Nothing behind us, right? Just keep your eyes on that just in case. Ah, what the hell, no guts, no glory. Although maybe there'll be a lot of guts, we'll see how this shot goes for me. Probably not well. Alright, they open up that door, we rat-a-tat-tat. Ah, our grenades expert is yet to, uh, yet to arrive. Uh. <laughs> oh, there, there's a fair number of them still in there. Fair dues. Fair dues. If that's the case, why doesn't Behold get over there and open it and uh, Cauldron chuck in some grenades? How much does it cost to throw a grenade for you? 34. Not a problem. Hmm. Was kind of hoping you could throw one of these. Oh, it costs a lot more because that's that's a different story, right? Will this actually knock you out? Let's find out. Ooh, that seems considerably superior to grenades we previously knew and loved. go. Raymond. It's a guaranteed shot, more or less. Champion. But not enough for more. And that's blocked 100%, so you're going to need to come around a bit and take your own guaranteed shot. What a shot. Get your ass down there. It's no longer safe. Let a pro show you how it's done. Deary me. I'm glad those shields are made of sterner stuff these days. What do you think, Young? You've got a good uh, a good eye on you. Xenonauts 2 is taking so long to release. I don't know, maybe it's in developer hell. It's been known to happen. Oh well, if it's just breaching, that sounds like more shields. And it sounds like Corporal Mitral. I don't like only firing a weapon once. Uh, what's going on out there? Not a single mother. No Overwatch, so I'm a little worried about that. Oh, right, they got someone hiding there. Ah, door's closed again. Well, open it back up, please. Hey, they got to restore their health just then. That seems a little unfair. Let's combat it with other unfair things. Hmm. There we... Oh, Christ, that's just a suppression. Get that armed. Blocked 100%, huh? Doesn't cost that much to throw though, so how about we get you there, look over there, and lob that 
here. Grenader working its magic already. This guy is not going to be quite so lucky though. Down you go, go. Oh, nice. We got a clean snipe down to here. Mitchell, come on. I need, uh, I need you here. Should let that gas dissipate. Should. Just have a little bit of a joy right there, bare minimum. We'll just chill out in the back here. Now, before you say anything, Dark Young, at least our reaction fire. Everyone's a critic. Okay, what's the situation? Do we put the other guy down? I guess he went to sleep. His body sure looks not there. It's fine, it's fine. I miss the old shields. Tell you what, I don't. I am very happy to have some actual protection these days. good. Unless they pop out and shoot us dead. Well now, I'll take that. I will take that and run. There we go. All the privates enjoying their promotion up to Corporal, upgrading and everything, and Corporal Mitral himself, scoring two kills, becomes Sergeant. Not a lot of money, but we protected the Highlands entirely. All nine aliens dead, all civvies survived. Good. Local forces, I mean, I'm sure that was self-inflicted. Back we go. Felt a bit like overkill for us, but that's okay by me. 